I hate rust. Good morning, YouTube, and congratulations on the purchase of your used lawnmower, dirt bike, wood chipper, or etc. And you got her for a pretty good price, too. That's because the guy who sold it to you said there's a pinhole leak in the fuel tank that he's tired of patching every single season. No problem for you, you're handy. Just a couple tack welds on there, you have the thing sealed up in no time. So now you got the tank sealed up, and you gotta ask yourself, why were there pinholes in my fuel tank? It's rusty inside, that's why. As long as it's rusty in there, you're going to be dealing with little pinholes popping up here, there, and everywhere. That's why you need some of this. Apple cider vinegar. There's plenty of videos on YouTube showing that apple cider vinegar works for getting rust out of fuel tanks. This video, with the help of my little camera here, this guy, we're going to show you what it looks like from the inside of the fuel tank. Before and after. So I've got my rusty little fuel tank sitting inside of a... Uh, Actually, it's a box of kitty litter, just so it stays upright, doesn't have a smooth base. I'm going to stick my camera in. Hello! Alright. In you go. Need more light? There we go. Sorry. There's uh, where I patched it up, welding. Okay, yeah. See, it's it's got a whole bunch of surface rust. Um, okay, if, if I touch it a little, it feels a bit gravelly. This could definitely benefit from a, a cleanup. Yeah. See, there we go. This fuel tank is just going to keep rusting through little pinholes at a time unless something is done about it. So let's do something about it. That's the before. Let's pour our apple cider vinegar in there and check the after. Okay, I'm going to pour it in. Perfect. There you go, one gallon of uh, apple cider vinegar. Good for one wood chipper fuel tank. Fill it up right to the top there. There we go, I actually put the lid from the kitty litter underneath to give it a little shim sideways, that way it can be filled right to the very brim and touch the top of the fuel tank and uh, kind of make contact with everything on the inside, that's what you want. All right, now we wait. This is a good time as any to take your uh, Boston pizza leftovers off of the oil heater. And take a break. Mmm. Butter chicken pasta. homeless apple pie in here. So now I'm going to pour it halfway out and give it a good shake and then pour the rest out. Then we're going to check what it looks like on the inside. Yummy. Don't drink this. We're going back in. Still rusty. It is still rusty, but this thing had some pretty bad rust buildup on it. And it looks like actually a lot of the spots that had more surface rust are, uh, are cleaner now. And wherever there's pitting, which is these dots you'll see everywhere, that's where the thick stuff is and that stuff uh, probably needs another go at it. <coughs> another round of the juice! So it's been just over 36 hours. I got a little busy doing stuff. I couldn't check it last night. 
Time to make an assessment. get in there and you know what I I'm a bit disappointed yep either that or and here's what I'm thinking um, this was an exceptionally bad fuel tank very very pitted all the spots with the little dots of rust on there those are all pinholes waiting to happen this fuel tank was not stored properly at all I can say whoop, there are some spots that look better right here for instance stuff where pitting hadn't already started it looks better but yeah look at all those little divots and dents of rust that just aren't going away I probably needed some something a little bit stronger for this this project But, I did something else on the side. I'm still going to use this fuel tank. It's patched up. It's holding, uh, it's holding liquid for now. But what I did with the stuff that I poured out, I kept it in a different key litter container. And I put some uh, nuts and bolts that were sitting around just rusting. These came off of some uh, side steps from a Dodge Ram. Exposed to salt, weather, water, etc. Et they were just covered in rust. And uh, it's starting to look pretty good. They're actually they actually came out real clean. I'm down to pretty much bare metal and some spots where the uh, the powder coating was starting to come off. Another one here. And actually, I'm I'm very impressed <laughs> with what the apple cider vinegar did to these. Everything I've cleaned the rust off so far has been rinsed off with a mixture of distilled water and baking soda. Once you pour the vinegar out, the acetic acid stays with it. If you leave it there, it's just going to cause etching over time. So you got to make sure you uh, rinse everything out. So it's really unfortunate that the fuel tank I chose was too far gone already. There's nothing we could do to fix that thing. Too many pinholes in it, uh, too many spots for the rust to hide. Even though every now and then I'd come in and give it a good shake, it just couldn't get all the rust out. It kept put. From what I've seen though, if you have something with just a bit of light rust, a bit of surface rust, where it's not actually gouging into the metal yet, where it's not burrowing in, apple cider vinegar should be just fine. And, plus, from what I've seen uh, on these nuts and bolts here, this setup, it really works for getting rid of rust. And it works great. So, thanks for watching Bogey Wheels. Here's a little outro clip followed by a blooper. Bye. You're watching Bogey Wheels. So you need some of this apple saddle. <laughs>